Quite the camping rig you got there. Yeah, you know. This is a rally, rally <laughs> lander. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. We're out here kind of at the end of the winter camping season, at least hopefully. We haven't gotten a lot of snow throughout the winter here in Colorado and things are pretty barren up here, which is good, which means obviously the Kimbo is off the truck, got the diamond back in the tent on there, and now is when we start to rack up the camp night numbers. Since we are heading into the springtime, this is a perfect time to once again mention Onyx Off-Road. If you guys are looking for trails in places like you see me and Mike and all of our friends camping in all the time, you gotta check out Onyx Off-Road. It is packed with thousands and thousands of trails all throughout the country. You can get weather and fire reports. If you sign up for an elite membership, you can also get public and private land data, which is super helpful. One of my favorite tools is the route builder tool, which will allow you to drop waypoints as you're scouting for a trip and then kind of piece them together. That way you are enjoying and getting the most out of your time spent while off-road and outdoors. So you guys should definitely check it out. There is a seven day free trial if you wanna just download it and kind of play around. I've made a ton of tutorials, both on my channel and over on Onyx Off-Road's channel. If you want some details on how to actually use the app and you can use my code to save 20% off for an entire year membership. So check it out. It's a tool that I use all the time and I think you guys will like it too. We are all set up at camp now, and let me tell you, I did not do a good job at packing this time, just because I was kind of in a hurry. Took the Kimbo off, put the diamond back on, threw the tent on, very easy, very quick process, and that's one of the reasons why I love the diamond back. And then I had all of my camp gear just kind of thrown in my garage, so I quickly packed one of my roam boxes, I have my recovery gear, I have a new flat. I have the new faster flight system in here too, even though we're obviously not airing down or anything on this trip. And then I got some Free Spirit products. So I of course am still running the Free Spirit Aspen Light, my collaboration tent with them. So this is the colorway, which we are sold out of. Thank you to everyone who bought one of these tents. They still have the regular Aspen lights like Mike has on his Golf R over here. Just a regular guy. This is the, uh, the slimmer version. So Free Spirit is now kind of doing like different sizes. I have the XL and then this is a standard. So it's a little bit skinnier. It's a little tight in there if you're like six foot and above. Oh yeah, it is, it is shorter. I didn't realize how small this was until I have seen it open now. So small version of the Aspen light. These are available still in the black colorway and then mine is what they're now calling the XL so if you're six foot tall sleeping with another adult and a dog you probably want to go with that one we'll check in with Jason here in a second because he's getting dinner ready but speaking of these new free spirit products we have some of their new ready lights Jason you can actually use this while you're cooking if it's dark oh, yeah, man. That'd be great. so that'll be super helpful these are solar rechargeable you can plug them into the wall too it has a light that disconnects and there's a bunch of different modes on them and now coming up to the tent some very new products in here which i'm kind of stoked for it's honestly fairly warm out here but the sun is setting it was about 50 degrees on the way in i think it's going down to like 20 something tonight free spirit has two of these new products here which i'm testing out one is a heated blanket which i just pulled out and set up this kind of acts as a base layer inside of a tent so it has straps which will go around the air core mattress so i think i'm going to leave this thing in place at all times there's a little usb port here you just plug a little power bank in and i just turned this thing on i don't think it's going to get as hot as like a 12 volt source like a cigarette car outlet blanket but it's a warm blanket so we will see how that does to 
tonight. And then they have a wearable kind of like Sherpa blanket here. So it's windproof and then on the inside it's a really nice soft like fleece material and it has a removable hood. So it has snaps here, you can kind of wear it like a cape and then throw your hood up too. So hopefully this stuff is enough for tonight. I do have a zero degree bag and some other warm necessities in the truck, but I'm gonna try to get by with these if I can. Now, speaking of Free Spirit, I wanna give a quick shout out to all of the sponsors who have been helping me for a while, but also going into this year, I'm working with some sponsors again on a lot of big projects, which you guys will see probably on the channel this week. So I wanna give a quick thanks to these companies because they have helped me in the past and we're going to be doing some pretty cool things this year. First and foremost, C4, all of the armor on my Tacoma from the front bumper to the rear bumper, all of the skids underneath, I have absolutely been loving this armor and it has saved me on multiple multiple occasions especially these rock sliders here with the kick out and the top plate free spirit of course is on board again this year as a sponsor and i'm going to be working with them on probably some new products maybe something similar to this but they are constantly developing new tents and new like smaller products like we talked about so you're going to see a lot more between me and Free Spirit here this year on the channel. We of course have the first thing that I will always do to any truck that I build. The Diamondback cover keeps my gear secure. It's a great place to mount a tent and any other kind of gear. I will get this thing dialed in in a little bit. I was just kind of in a hurry when packing for this trip. And then we have a new player to the game, which this is not something that I'm a stranger to, but Sherpa Equipment Company, who makes my roof rack, they have actually come on board as a sponsor this year, and I'm going to be working with them on some pretty cool things too. So if you guys have not seen my Teton rack before, I absolutely love this thing. I mounted my air raid snorkel up to the side, so it's super secure. I got a diode light bar in there, and it's just a super solid, sturdy rack. You can mount a lot of accessories on there. You can put boxes on the roof, and I think C4 and Sherpa go together like peanut butter and jelly. It just fits. I love the aesthetic of all of these products, and I'm really stoked to have them on board as well because they are a small, local Colorado company. So that was just a quick thank you to the companies who are on board and sponsoring some of these videos this year. If you guys want discount codes and more information on anything that you see, here you can find them in the description down below you'll see me tagging them on instagram all the time and you can find a full build sheet of this truck over on my website too so check that stuff out and if you guys have any questions if you want to see anything more in detail just let me know 39 years old you can't you can't ask for more than that <laughs> all right sun is setting it's getting cold already that's right. Jason, of course, is in charge of dinner. How you been, man? It's been a while. Good, dude. Yeah, Overland Eights is uh, taking a uh, temporary hiatus. So, uh, you know, we're bring, back. Bring it back. We're back, but like on a paired back. back, a paired back version <laughs> of it. So we got, of course, we got some prime ribeyes here, pre-seasoned with uh, salt, pepper, garlic. Yeah. The blend. This is the Costco special right here. Wine seasoning and steaks all by costco jason just found out what costco was like a year ago he's it's like true. I, have you guys ever been to costco, never been in a costco. <laughs> until Didn't until i know. until i lost all my sponsors i never never needed to know what it was you know and <laughs> now i'm having to buy my own steaks like a peasant so it's so good though uh yeah it's good uh so yeah we just got this we got some mashed potatoes and brussels sprouts gonna do it we got this massive cast iron skillet yeah things and uh huge yeah we had a couple of people bail today, so we got three extra steaks, so we'll be eating well tonight. We will definitely eat those. I'm stoked. Stars are pretty good out here. Yeah, we're out of firewood now, and that means it's time to go to bed. 
All right, so up here in the tent, got the heated blanket on. There are three different settings to this, and I'm not sure which is which. There's a blue, a red, and a white. I would assume red means the high temp, so I'm just going to leave it on that for now, and hopefully the little battery pack will keep it going. I will see you guys in the morning. It is cold. Checking the forecast for tonight, it looks like it's going down to 24 degrees, and that's going to be at 7 a.m., so it's just going to drop overnight with a real feel of 15. Pretty chilly. Don't have a diesel heater, but I think we'll be good. Now that I'm laying here on top of this blanket, I can actually feel it warming up just a little bit. This wearable blanket, too, is super cozy. I have some extras here, of course, my zero degree bag, which might have to break out, but I'd rather be free and just lay under blankets like this. So laying on top of the Free Spirit warm blanket, and then I got their fuzzy blanket, and yet another one. I think I'm gonna be able to sleep pretty well because I did not sleep much last night. So typically this is where I would end the video, obviously, but we're gonna let this one roll until the morning just to see how the night goes, wake up, cook some breakfast. And this should be the first successful camp night with the truck back in tent mode. So, stoked. This is my favorite time of year. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm happy to report that this uh, heated warming blanket from Free Spirit it ended up working out pretty well. So I ended up bringing my little Jackery over here. That way when I plug it in, I can actually see the power draw from this thing. So I found out that the red setting, this will eventually draw about 10, 11 watts. And then the white mode is medium. And then the blue mode is obviously the coolest mode. So I left it on red all night. I went down to about 50% and that was also powering the lights in my tent. I wouldn't consider this a heated, heated blanket. I would say it's more of a warming blanket, but there were times where I was laying on my back and there were some really nice hot spots throughout this blanket. And when I trapped that heat in with this other blanket from Free Spirit, I was actually pretty warm. I didn't use my zero degree bag at all. and. The only thing that was cold last night was my face and nose. So I would kind of pull the blanket up over me like this and I slept pretty well for the first night out in the tent for the year. Jason cooked some breakfast for us this morning. What do we have? Uh, just real quick, it was uh, hash browns with uh, maple sausage and a little bit of cheese on top. Pretty dang good, I'm not a huge breakfast person. It was 15 but. degrees this morning, so we didn't want to do uh, eggs. Eggs will freeze out here. But now it's beautiful out here. Sam and Maddie are here. Hey! We didn't even say hi to you guys. Oh, wow, that's rude. <laughs> they brought Maddie's Bronco, which is all hooked up now, with the new Aspen V2. Free Spirit Gang. Free Spirit Gang. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Well, you know it's getting close to spring and summer camping because we just had a morning campfire chat. It's almost 11 o'clock and it's daylight savings when we're filming this, so. It's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> it's hot. We lost an hour of sleep. It's good chats. Good chats. Good chats. It's still awesome that you brought the R out to camp. <laughs> I mean, I had a surprisingly good time on these roads. Just, you know, whipping a little bit around the corners. It just goes to show that you don't need a truck like this to do stuff like we're doing here. On this trail, anyway. <laughs> on this trail. So we are now packing up, getting ready to head back to our respective homes. And I need to get ready for the project that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Tomorrow, I have some travel ahead of me and you guys will see it all on video here, maybe even as early as this week, but got a cool project announcement for you guys and I think, actually I know a lot of you are gonna be stoked on it, so gonna end the video here for today. Thank you to all of the supporters of the channel. Like I mentioned in this video, if you guys want to find out more info on them, links in the description down below. And if you are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and we got a lot of truck content on the way. So thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you.
the next one.